Let's see how to play Headhunter game. If we see the contents, there are one game board, 16 hats in four colors, one golden hat and one dice. The object of this game is to collect as many hats as you can by traveling through the game board. To start the game, each player chooses what color of hats he or she wants to play and places them on the corresponding circle in four corners. Place the golden hat in the middle of the game board. On your turn, you can roll the dice and move one of your hats according to the number on the dice. Let's say this player is playing now and this player can move one of his hats by two, one, two. And this person can move one, two, three, four, five. And this player can move one, two, three, four, five as well. And this player can move one, two, three, four. When you move your marker or when, when you move your hat, you can use any direction around you, but you cannot move back and forth by dividing the number. Like let's say this person should move four by four spaces. He cannot divide the number like one, two, three, four. He has to move straight upwards. One, two, three, four or one, two, three, four. On the way you move, if your hat meets another hat, including yours, like this player got six, so this player wants to move by six upwards. There's one hat on the way he moves. He can just skip over the occupied place, but he has to put the occupied space in the count. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you arrive at the occupied space, like now this person is playing now and this, play, uh, this person got one on his dice he can move by one and then he can capture under the hat like this and he can make a tower when you capture under the hat you can come back to your original place to unload the captured hat or you can travel as it is on the game board. And one thing, the special thing about this game is that on the gray field, hats cannot capture other hats, but three only um three hats are Maximum three hats are allowed on one great field. So, if this person, if this player got four on his dice, he cannot move like one, two, three, four. So he, this person should take other way to move one, two, three, four. But the person who arrives at the center of game board first. This person can have the golden hat and cover the golden hat over his hat. This person can have the privilege that the hat with golden hat can capture any hats even on the great fields. If this person got four on his dice, he can move one, two, three, four, four and capture another hat even on the gray field. However, this golden hat can be captured 
by other hats like this. In this manner, players can collect as many hats as possible on their circles. The game ends when one color of hat left on the game board like this. And the person who collects the most hats wins the game.